a story caught my attention today about asteroids. NASA has given an update on what they call PHAs, potentially hazardous asteroids. I mean, talk about an acronym when you don't need one. Okay. In order for an asteroid to be, need, to be deemed a PHA, though, it has to come within 5 million miles of Earth and have a diameter of 100 meters. And you say, oh, whatever, 5 million miles, Woo, what are you even talking about this for? Well, here's why. If Earth was struck by an asteroid 40 meters across, it would be similar to the impact of a 3 megaton nuclear bomb. Now, I don't want to make any jokes about current global affairs, but that's much bigger than anything a lot of people are worried about causing a problem in certain regions right now. So how many potentially hazardous asteroids are there? Okay, that's our number. 4,700 PHAs. NASA says that this number is plus or, <laughs> plus or minus 1,500. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, but still, I mean, even if it's minus, it's still more than I am comfortable with, okay? 3,200. But they've only found 20 to 30 percent of them, so it could be way, way higher. Anyway, the dinosaurs, I know that's controversial, but you know what I'm talking about. Are we living in an unprecedented time period of peace and prosperity? Hmm. All right. Asteroid 2012-DA-14 is an object about half the size of a football field in diameter that is going to pass very close to the Earth on February 15th. Coming from the south to the north, it actually gets to within 17,200 miles of the Earth's surface and will pass interior to the geosynchronous satellites and the GPS satellites. But there's really no chance of the asteroid hitting the Earth and very little chance it will hit a satellite. Although this object gets very close to the Earth on February 15th, it's fairly small as asteroids go and it won't be observable with a naked eye, but if you happen to be located in Eastern Europe, Asia, Australia, and you know where to look, and you have a pair of binoculars, it will indeed be visible. The asteroid was discovered by a group of uh, Spanish astronomers in La Sagra Observatory in, in southern Spain. An object uh, the size of DA-14 actually impacted the Earth on June 30th, 1908, the so-called Tunguska event. An object of about 30 or 40 meters came down into the Earth's atmosphere and exploded, uh, leveling trees for 820 square miles. The close approach of this, this object 2012 DA-14 on February 15th is nothing to worry about. Its orbit is very well known. We know exactly where it's going to go, and it cannot hit the Earth. 20 years ago, we probably wouldn't have found this object, uh, but now NASA is observing the skies nightly and uh, picking up these objects, and we track them in for 100 years into the future and see if any of them make uh, interesting close Earth approaches, not only because of the threat issue, but because these objects are important for science, they're important for future resources, as well as uh, threats. <laughs>